we could be 16 years into a methane fuel termination event significant enough to end an ice age. Methane emissions from tropical wetlands have been soaring since 2006 and accelerating at the same breakneck speed as when Earth's climate first flipped from glacial to an interglacial period. A dramatic spike in atmospheric methane over the past 16 years may be a sign that Earth's climate could flip within decades, scientists warn. Large amounts of methane wafting from tropical wetlands into Earth's atmosphere could trigger warming similar to the termination events that ended ice ages, replacing frosty expanses of tundra with tropical savanna, a new study finds. Researchers first detected a strange peak in methane emissions in 2006, but until now it was unclear where the gas was leaking from and if it constituted a novel trend. A termination is a major reorganization of Earth's climate system, study lead author Ewan Nisbet said, Professor Emeritus of Earth Sciences at Royal Holloway University of London. He said these repeated changes have taken the world from ice ages into the sort of interglacial that we have now. Ice age terminations typically occur in three phases, which are recorded in ice cores going back 800,000 years. The initial phase is characterized by a gradual rise in methane and carbon dioxide, leading to global warming over a few thousand years. Within the termination, which takes thousands of years, there's this abrupt phase which only takes a few decades, Nisbet said. During that abrupt phase, the methane soars up and is probably driven by tropical wetlands. Methane is a powerful greenhouse gas released by, both by human activities, including fossil fuel burning, landfills and agriculture, and natural processes such as decomposition of wetlands. Human emissions soared in the 1980s with the expansion of the natural gas industry and stabilized in the 1990s, Nesbitt explains. But in late 2006, something very, very odd happened, he said. Methane started rising again, but there was no dramatic shift in human activity to blame, and researchers were left scratching their heads. And then in 2013, Nesbitt and his crew and colleagues realized this rise was accelerating, and by 2020, methane was increasing at the fastest rate on record, he said. Nesbitt explains it looks like as if there's a big new methane source turning on. A flurry of studies since 2019 has linked the strange spike to soaring emissions from tropical wetlands, predominantly in Africa. A significant change in tropical weather ascribed to human-caused climate change has led wetlands to get bigger and more plants to grow there, thus leading to more decomposition, a process that produces methane, Nisbet, Nisbet said. And in the new study, published July 14, in the journal Global Biochemical Cycles, Nisbet and colleagues compared current trends in atmospheric methane to the abrupt phase of warming during Ice Age terminations. Nisbet said, the closest analogy we have to what we think is happening today is these terminations. And while the evidence remains inconclusive, the scale of such a shift in climate is worth pondering, he said. In the past, terminations have flipped vast expanses of icy tundra in the northern hemisphere into tropical grasslands roamed by hippos, and there is no way to know what a termination could signify today, given that we are not in an ice age. We're not saying we've got proof this is happening, but we're raising the question, he said. Regardless of whether termination scale climate shifts are on the horizon, tackling methane emissions should be high on our list of priorities, Nisbet said. We can do a great deal to bring down methane, he said, and this includes plugging gas leaks and tackling emissions from manure, landfill, and crop waste. This is from Sacha Pair on Live Science. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.